Well, hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time seeing me, as you know, hopefully you know, my actual name is Honor. People call me Oz, and I am a Eurovision reactor, and very happy to be seated next to a legend, a legend. Now, I had a very lovely moment with you at the Copenhagen pre-party. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't a YouTuber there. I was one of the artists, and to be honest, it was one of the most incredible moments when we sang together, because I have to tell you, I'm a big fan of you and you. when I heard that you were coming back I was like yes this couldn't be much more beautiful Aww. you are a Eurovision legend that brings generations of fans together and you know you have made some new fans you know uh, people who have discovered Eurovision for the first time probably mm -hmm. how is your relationship with your like um Gen Z or X I don't know how they call them <laughs> but like you know the younger ones, the youngest uh, ones. How are your relationship with the new fans? Uh, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, I've been honored with uh, with a name tag, mother I call, yeah. and <laughs> auntie. I absolutely love that because, I mean, I am both. <laughs> so it's easy for me to like embrace it. And I love it. Mm. Uh, I mean, they're sending me so many beautiful messages and they're so, uh, how do you say, they're so uh, in life what's that word sincere yeah. in their messages and and pure yeah. and i just absolutely love it and i think when you mentioned being being called as mother i have to also refer to the fact that you are a gay icon oh. you know you, the lgbtq plus community loves you and the way that people call you mother is a way to say that you are like a goddess mm -hmm. and what do you think about this year's eurovision song contest like how much have changed since you, you know, debuted on, on Eurovision? Like, how, how have you been coping with that? Well, I've been coping very well because of the support from the Eurovision community and also the queer com community. Uh, I've, been, I've been invited every year, multiple times, to fantastic events all, all around the world. And every time I'm greeted with such love and, and just, it makes me absolutely thankful and, and thrilled to be back. Um, and it's changed in the, in the way of it's grown so much bigger. Mm -hmm. And of course, generations, like you mentioned before, generations upon generations, year after year, uh, like, oh, uh, discover Eurovision. And it's beautiful to see how people just like, <gasps> throw themselves into the community and 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 return every every year uh, but the biggest change for me is the social me social media platforms all of them um, in in a negative way for me because my brain does not get her pretty little brain around <laughs> it but in a very positive way in the sense of that I am getting in communications with with all of you so much earlier in the process so long before we yeah. joined here in Malmö, I've been uh, having conversations with like hundreds and hundreds everywhere around the world. And that is, for me, amazing. Yeah. Um, I am a singer myself as well. I'm a musician. I am learning. And this year I have been very fortunate to be able to do Eurovision pre-parties. You have been full on. Yeah. Like you've been doing pre-parties. I've, I've seen you everywhere and you always sound incredible. Oh, um, I have so many musician followers on social media and I'm also curious about this question. Yeah. How do you keep your fitness vocally, physically, spiritually? How do you do that? Because I want to know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have a good stamina just because of experience. Mm -hmm. I have, I've been working with a, a technique called complete vocal technique now for, for like 20 plus years. I, I'm a teacher uh, in this technique, so, so that's helped me a lot. But, but first and foremost, it's the mental, uh, you know, it's mind over body. So uh, I think positively about my voice. I almost think of it as a person. Mm -hmm. So if it's nagging and bitching, yeah. like, I'm tired, I'm hoarse. I'm like, no, honey, you know, take your medicine, <laughs> get your sleep, stay quiet, because we're on in a few days. <laughs> so I just have this, I love that. these real talks with myself. Yeah, calm down, honey, we're yeah. on a few days. I mean, you never fail. Are you going to start now? No, you're not. Mm. It's like you just have these conversations with yourself, and it's every time 
it's mind over matter. Exactly. When you said lessons, do you do online lessons? No. Oh. I, well, I haven't. I haven't been. I've been teaching in Iceland and and uh, around Europe for for some years ago. Uh, but I, I love it. Uh, I, I want, I, I, I love hands on. Yeah. I, I tried some years ago, these online uh, lessons and I just need hands on. Yeah. I need to be in the, in the nearness of you, Absolutely. <laughs> you know, yeah. for, also for you to get the best out of me. Yeah. Well, well we are adoring you and we've just uh, finished the rehearsals today and you sounded and looked incredible. Oh, thank you. I loved every single moment that I've had with you during this journey. Thank I hope you. I see you again. Thank but before you. we go, shall we do it again? Yes, do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> because this is, well, we did it in Copenhagen, yeah, but right now I think... We've been practicing. We've been practicing. Uh, hmm. Ah. Ah. Okay, one, two, three. I feel it coming. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> this time I'm more focused. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so, so, you. so much. Give it up for her, Bjorn.